Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are filming a full brand review. Now, it seems like a hot minute since I've sat down here on Mad About Skin and actually reviewed a skincare brand in its entirety end to end. We're gonna put that right in today's video and up in the hot seat is the turn of Allies of Skin, a super popular, much hyped skincare brand online, but one that comes with a relatively high price point. It's for this reason that I wanted to try their whole collection, put it through its paces, so it can help you to understand what are the ding, 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 holy grail products and which are the wah, 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 total fails. We're going to pick it apart in today's video, so sit back, relax, and let's talk all things allies of skin. Now before we get into this video, I always like to reiterate the point that when it comes to skincare, use what works for you. I've just said that allies of skin come with a relatively high price point. That's not going to suit everyone's budget. And you know what? Just because you can't afford to reach for allies of skin products doesn't mean that you're going to be missing out. I am super cheap and I think the drugstore is where it's at when it comes to skincare. Sometimes though, I don't mind paying a little bit more if I'm going to get a little bit more. And that's kind of the benchmark that I'm going to be judging allies of skin against. Are they actually worth that higher price point? We're going to find out. I was a little bit cheeky. Before I filmed this video, I reached out to Allies of Skin and said, hey guys, any chance that we can have a little bit of a discount code, save some hard-earned coin? And they were really generous and they actually came back and said, yes Rob, no problem. If you use the code that's on screen, your subscribers will get 20% off any product from the Allies of Skin or the PSA, which is their sister brand range. And this is super, super generous. And whilst this won't bring the price down to drugstore levels, it'll certainly make it a little bit more affordable if you do want to try any of the products mentioned today, which I've linked in the description box below. Now I know even with that discount, the Allies of Skin price point isn't going to be something that everybody can afford to reach for. And I hate the idea that anybody will be excluded. So I'm going to turn this video into a little bit of a giveaway also. In a week's time, I'm going to choose two people at random, let them select an Allies of Skin product of their choice and ship it to them free of charge. It's just a way of me reaching out to you guys and saying thank you so, so much for the endless love, support and kindness that you always show me here on the channel. All you've got to do to take part is reach down and give this video a big thumbs up and a like, and then leave me a comment. Somewhere in that comment, just use the hashtag tag I'm in and that'll show me that you want to take part in this giveaway. Like I say, I'll select two people at random in a week's time and the product choice will be all entirely up to you guys. So good luck to everyone that wants to take part. Now I'm going to split this video into three parts. We're going to do a brand overview first so you know exactly what you're buying into if you choose to shop Allies of Skin. We're then going to come onto the positives, the ding 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 holy grail products that I think could make wonderful additions to your skincare routine. And then finally onto the wah 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 total fails that you might just want to avoid. I've left timestamps in the description box below, so if you want to jump to one section of the video over another, use those, be my guest, I won't be offended if you skip any part of this video. But with all that being said, shall we cut the waffle and just delve straight on in? So a little bit about Allies of Skin first. So this is a relative newcomer to the skincare world, they were actually founded in 2016. Now they've taken the world by storm since then, honestly there are so many blog entries, people fangirling about them on Instagram and Reddit, and they're always appearing in the magazines because they have the most gorgeous, gorgeous packaging, honestly. I can imagine just photos to perfection. However, packaging is only one thing, and we're going to get into whether the formulations actually justify a slightly higher price point later on in the video. The founder said the reason he created the Allies of Skin brand is he was really frustrated with the existing products on the market when it came to tackling adult acne. Oh, Trust me, I know about this frustration. <laughs> I'm in my mid 30s, I still get quite persistent breakouts and it can be really difficult to find products that will help tackle that but won't strip and dry the skin at the same time. The ethos of Allies of Skin is to kind of use as many actives as is appropriate in each of their serums so you get a maximum benefit for just having to reach for that one product. I think this is great if you're looking to streamline everything, have a minimum number of steps in your skincare routine. I think this is also worth bearing in mind because if you think one of their serums could replace three or four serums in your skincare routine that I think will help justify a slightly higher price point if that product delivers. And I think this is what it all comes down to. The proof of the pudding is definitely going to be in the testing and I put all of these products through their paces for the past month and I've got some mixed feelings. Now I always like to start with the positivity here on Mad About Skin so let's call out the ding 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 holy grails first and I've got four products that I really want to shout about. First up is this. This is the Allies of Skin Promise Keeper Nightly Blemish Treatment. All of these products come with ridiculously long names, which is why I've linked them all in the description box, save you having to Google and type them out. But this was the first product I actually tried from Allies of Skin, and honestly, it got me hooked. I think it's thanks to my success with this product that I wanted to explore more from the brand. So about six months ago, I was having quite an active breakout, and I tried so many things, and nothing was really calming it down. I didn't really know what else I wanted to try, which is why I thought, after someone recommended this, I'll pay my money, I'll try it out, and honestly, I was a convert from like day number 
number two. I said earlier, I am super cheap, and honestly I am. I hate overpaying for skincare. So I think it's testament to how good this product is that I've now bought like four or five tubes of it, and I wouldn't be without it in my skincare routine. The reason this is so effective is not only does it have some acne fighting ingredients in here, it's also got 15, just like that thinking, 15 different antioxidants to protect the skin and really just help improve the skin barrier. You've got some hydrators, you've got some calming and soothing ingredients, and all around, if you put this on before you go to bed, you wake up with a guaranteed good skin day. I say the redness of any breakouts that you have is like halved. Some of the real pain that you can get from cystic acne in particular is diminished, and if you use it consistently, you have far less blackheads and congestion in the skin. I think what really swayed me to the higher price point of this is the fact that it works on cystic acne. If you ever suffered with those like under the skin nodules, they are really difficult to treat and can be really painful. This actually gets to work on it. It doesn't clear it overnight, but after a couple of uses, you'll definitely see an improvement. Whilst this is the most expensive product in the Allies of Skin line, it's the one I'd probably be buying time and time again. It's a true, true holy grail. Not everyone's going to be able to reach for the price point of this, but actually you don't always need to because you get very similar results with this product. This is the PSA Liquid Clarity Serum. So PSA is actually the sister brand to Allies of Skin. They're owned by the same parent company. And honestly, the PSA products are like a third of the price of their Allies of Skin counterpart. And often they'll work just as well. <laughs> I love this serum. This is a fantastic, fantastic spot fighting treatment. It's maybe not quite as effective as that blemish treatment facial, which I just called out. But if you're on a budget and you want to shrink the cost of your skincare, but still get great results, this is where it's at. So in here, you've got salicylic acid, which is fantastic at tackling acne. You've got some zinc, which calms, soothes, and regulates the oil levels in the skin. You've got some Bakucho, which is a gentle alternative to retinol. And you've got some nice hydrators and soothers in here as well. Whilst it's a different ingredient profile to the product I've just called out, the outcomes are very similar, and I would definitely, definitely recommend this if you don't want to push the high price point of that blemish treatment facial. On the back of my success with that first product, I thought I'm actually really keen to explore this brand a little bit more, which is kind of how we got to where we are today. And the second product I tried is this. This is the Allies of Skin 20% Vitamin C Brighten and Firm Serum. I have recommended this on the channel quite some time ago because this is a super high potency vitamin C. But honestly, of all the vitamin Cs I've ever tried, this is the fastest acting. So if you tried a lot of things and you think nothing is budging my discoloration, hyperpigmentation and melasma, and I kind of want quick wins, this is the product to do it. Not only do you have a high concentration of vitamin C in a stabilized form, so this won't be wasted, you won't get that oxidation before you've even had a chance to use the product up, which I love, but it's also packed full of other antioxidants. I mentioned in a recent video about how I think the best outcomes for your skincare routine is pairing your vitamin C with other antioxidants. I'll leave a link to that video up there. You don't need to have two separate products because you've kind of got it all in one in this. The way that it's formulated, it's actually way more gentle on the skin than that 20% concentration would suggest. My skin is hypersensitive to vitamin C in its pure ascorbic acid form, but I had no problems with this. After about three applications, you'll notice that the skin is brighter, you've got that lip from within glow, and it's eating away at all that discoloration and hyperpigmentation. Such, such a wonderful product, and I think this could be a game changer for you if you've really struggled to get great results from any other vitamin C. Now, there's two other fantastic holy grails that I want to call out quickly, and it's these two. Let's start with this. This is the Mandelic Pigmentation Correcting Night Serum. I love this. An 11% alpha hydroxy acid concentration, which is primarily mandelic acid. Super large molecule size, so it's really, really gentle on the skin. But this will really get to grips with any discoloration and hyperpigmentation you have. It's also packed full of peptides and antioxidants, which are going to boost the barrier function of the skin, protect the skin, and I think work beautifully hand in hand with that mandelic acid. Now, I said earlier that a lot of the serums from Allies of Skin have like multiple benefits. And honestly, if you're already using the vitamin C serum, I don't think you need this alongside. I think it's like an either or. The vitamin C is for a morning skincare routine. The mandelic is for an evening skincare routine. You don't need both because they kind of both do the same thing and deliver the same outcomes. So work out whether you want a treatment for the morning or for the evening and buy the one that's appropriate. I certainly won't recommend both together because I think, you know, you'd be doubling up on the cost without any getting additional benefit. But pick the one that works best for you they're both standout holy grails. Finally, let's call out this product. This is the Molecular Barrier Recovery Cream Balm. This, I was super impressed with. Not only because it comes in this gorgeous baby blue packaging, which just drew me to it, so uplifting and I absolutely adore, but because of the way this product works. So this trend going around online at the moment called slugging, which is where you put a thick layer of an occlusive on at the end of your skincare routine. People will normally reach for the CeraVe Healing Ointment or Pure Vaseline, and this is designed to trap everything in, prevent transepidation, 
epidermal water loss. Great if you've got a drier skin type, but the reason I don't particularly like slugging is I find that neither of those products actually sink into the skin, they leave a film, and neither of them are cruelty free, which is something that matters a lot to me when I come to buy products for my own skincare routine. Well, in stepped this product. This is game-changingly good. If you want to try slugging, but the idea of putting Vaseline on your skin makes you feel like, oh, like you never want to go near it. This has so many different occlusives, but it's also got ceramides in here, it's got peptides, it's got calming and soothing ingredients. So it's just elevated quite a few levels higher than like the CeraVe healing ointment or pure Vaseline. This also sinks into the skin. So whilst you'll still get that occlusive layer, it doesn't sit like a greasy film getting all over your pillow. You can put this on 20 minutes before you go to bed, knowing that you're locking all that great work you've done with your skincare in and preventing transepidermal water loss. But look at that, it just glides onto the skin, it hydrates, it nourishes, and you'll wake up with perfectly hydrated skin. Redu reduction that crepiness that sometimes we can get on a morning, it's all thanks to this product. I would definitely say, if you're trying slugging but you don't like the feeling of the products on your skin, reach for this because you won't be disappointed. Now before I come onto the wah, 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 total fails, I think a really important to call out because I'd hate the idea of you guys wasting your hard earned money on products I don't think are worth the splurge. There are two products that I'd say I'm Mm, on. I can't really make my mind up on. First up is this. This is the Molecular Silk Amino Acid Hydrating Cleanser. I adore this cleanser. Literally the most luxurious velvet and smooth cleanser I have ever tried. It leaves your skin feeling beautifully soft. It, it just feels like an at-home spa treatment every time you reach for it. And it's actually made me want to look forward to cleansing the skin. Such a gorgeous product and it works so well that you can actually use it in place of a double cleanse because it kind of gets it all done in one. So you're probably wondering why isn't this in the holy grail then Rob if it is that good. It's just down to that price point. So I paid £38 for this which is a relatively high price point when it comes to a cleanser. I kind of set myself my own rule which is that I'd never pay more than £20 for a cleanser because I don't think it's worth it. You leave these products on the skin like 60 seconds tops. I'd rather save that money and invest it in the serum steps where I think you get those results. However, this is a stunning cleanser. And if you want to try something from the Allies of Skin range and you love a good cleansing experience, this won't disappoint you. Such a really nice product. I love the packaging, how uplifting it is. It's just perfect for that morning, morning cleanse. And I would say, if you work this into damp skin, leave it on the skin like two minutes. Brush your teeth while it's still on there because there's so many beneficial ingredients. You kind of want them to get to work in the skin. So don't just rinse it straight off. Leave it for like two minutes, brush your teeth, and then rinse it off. You'll get a great cleanse and some great added skincare benefits too. Finally, in the Merc category is this. This is the Peptides and Antioxidants Firming Day Treatment. I was fully expecting to adore this product because I'm a full fangirl for a peptide moment in my skincare routine. But whilst this absolutely delivered, I love the ingredient profile. The antioxidants alongside those peptides are going to be great, great for your skin. This actually only has four peptides in, which disappointed me because actually you can get those same four peptides with the Ordinary or Neod at a fraction of the cost of what you're paying for this. So whilst it's a great, great product and I love the way it applied on the skin, I think it's just a cheaper way of getting four peptides in your skincare routine, which is why I probably won't repurchase this product. Now, unfortunately, in this section of the video, I do have to call out a couple of wah, 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 total fails of products that just didn't personally work for me. The reason I wanted to call this out isn't to bring the negativity back into the video. It's just because I'd hate the idea of you guys spending your hard-earned coin on products that, honestly, I don't think are going to deliver. I'd rather you invest them in some of the other amazing products that I've just called out if you do want to dip your toe into allies of skin. First up, let's call out this product. This is the Prebiotics and Niacinamide Pore Refining Booster. So the reason I don't like this is it's got 10% concentration of niacinamide. Now, niacinamide is a wonderful ingredient. It helps to calm and soothe the skin. It can regulate oil production. It can brighten and even out our skin tone. But studies have shown time and time again that the right concentration of niacinamide is 5%. You get all the benefits with minimum risk of irritation, which is why I find it super annoying that brands always push that, go to a higher concentration when the science and the data isn't just there to back it up of how effective that's going to be. I kind of expected more of Allies of Skin, which is why this product disappointed me. I did try it and you know what it didn't irritate my skin too much so I think there is some other formulatory magic in here that will prevent that niacinamide irritating the skin excessively but for me it didn't really do anything to refine my pores I think the other products worked better and this is definitely going to be a case of I think you're going to expect a lot from this product and probably be a little bit disappointed with the outcomes which is a shame but like I say all brands even my absolute favorites have some wah, wah, wah products and for me this is probably the standout in this allies of skin collection
I also want to call out this product. This is the Molecular Savior Probiotics Treatment Mist. So probiotics, like with that niacinamide treatment, that's designed to like balance the microbiome of the skin, keep everything in check and super healthy. I'm all in favor of that. And this mist was really nice, but for me, it's quite expensive for what is a mist. And I personally prefer the Neod Superoxide Dismutase Mist when it comes to calming, soothing, hydrating, and some antioxidant and peptide action too. There's nothing wrong with this. I just think, you know, the Neod one is slightly cheaper. I think I got better outcomes and benefits from it. So if you do want a little bit of an expensive and bougie mist in your life, I'd probably reach for that Neo the one over this, though this was a really, really nice formulation. Finally, let's talk this product. This is the Retinal and Peptides Repair Night Cream. I love the sound of this. Retinal is my favorite form of vitamin A derivative. You get higher potency than retinol, but generally better tolerated by the skin, so you get fewer side effects. To use peptides alongside it, I think is wonderful because peptides hydrate, they can also the barrier function of the skin and all told I was really sold before I'd even put this on my skin and you know what it genuinely worked well you got a relatively high concentration of vitamin A derivative in here but it was formulated in a way that meant I didn't get any irritation redness or peeling so that's a huge tick in the box from the start however I think the reason I'm not repurchasing this and won't be going back to it time and time again is because the other brand within the allies of skin range PSA actually came out with this the midnight courage oil this actually is so much better and it's a fraction of the cost so I think this is like 25 pounds so it's not going to break the bank and this is a blend of facial oils and a retinol complex and it's got some other calming and soothing ingredients in here too I actually got better outcomes from this because it's a really great way of like nourishing the skin with that facial oil at the same time as getting some anti-aging benefit of these two this is my favorite so I'd say what's the point in pushing the price point up reaching for the allies of skin product when you can get the same results at a fraction of the cost with this one same brand but honestly they this is definitely where it's at. So there you have it guys, a rundown of allies of skin. I think, what are my thoughts after all of this? I actually have been way more impressed with the brand than I thought I was going to be. Okay, like all brands, they have holy grails and total fails, and I'm glad that I could differentiate the two for you in case you did want to try out the brand. I am pretty hard to convince when it comes to luxury, bougie, and higher price point skincare, because honestly, I'm cheap and drugstore to my core, but I have definitely been swayed by some of the allies of skin products. I think the way that I see it in my mind is because they're so well formulated with peptides, antioxidants, brightening ingredients, core active ingredients, actually you're getting like three serums in one for each of these products. So if you think, you know, if you reach for a peptide serum, a vitamin C serum, an antioxidant serum, that could cost you the equivalent of what you're paying for that firming and brightening vitamin C as like a comparison and example. So I think if you bear that in mind, the price point isn't actually as prohibitive as maybe it seems on first glance. Ultimately, if a product works, I don't mind paying more to get more. And I think you definitely get that with that Promise Keeper Facial with the vitamin C. Oh, that gorgeous balm for slugging with. And also that Mandelic Acid if you're looking for a nighttime treatment. Those are what I'd say are the standouts. If you do like a super bougie and luxury feeling cleanser, I think their Silk Amino Acid Cleanser is really good. But let me know in the comments section below your thoughts, feelings, and opinions. And wherever you are, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin.